Hello YouTube, Luigi here. This will probably be the last of the A.A. Milne poems that I read or post. Um, just because I'm running out of absolute favorites, I, I, I'm reading you what I consider the best of the best. This one's called Disobedience. And we'll just get right at it. If you see me do this once in a while, it's because I believe it helps the camera focus better than on this glass screen. So, sorry. Okay, disobedience. James James Morrison Morrison, Weatherby George Dupree, took great care of his mother, though he was only three. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. James James Morrison's mother put on a golden gown. James James Morrison's mother drove to the end of the town. James James Morrison's mother said to herself, said she, I can get right down to the end of the town and be back in time for tea. King John put up a notice. Lost or stolen or strayed, James James Morrison's mother seems to have been mislaid. Last seen wandering vaguely, quite of her own accord, she tried to get down to the end of the town. Forty shillings reward. James James Morrison Morrison, commonly known as Jim, told his other relations not to go blaming him. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town without consulting me. James James Morrison's mother hasn't been heard of since. King John said he was sorry, and so did the Queen and Prince. King John, somebody told me, said to a man he knew, If people go down to the end of the town, well, what can anyone do? Now, very softly, James James Morrison Morrison, Weatherby George Dupree, took great care of his mother, though he was only three. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, You must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me.